Okay, welcome. In this slide, we are learning how to bypass or crack WPA2. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal. Alright, so a few things that need to be discussed first is I have a connected alpha adapter. So that's important. You have to make sure your adapter is connected. Second, I have a wireless access point that, or Actually, it's a Linksys router that I'm going to be trying to break into. And I currently already have a machine connected to it, and I'm having it pass some traffic to and from it. Uh, I've noticed sometimes this lab will fail if I only have like a phone connected to it. So if you try to do the same lab at home and you're getting weird results, I've had uh, several th uh, times where I've had to disconnect my device that were connected to my test network and then reconnect it. For whatever reason, that seemed to fix most of the errors. Alright, next, I actually want to go to my files. So here are some of the WPA cracks from before. I'm going to go ahead and delete those. I'm going to keep moving this guy downstairs so that you can see my terminal window. So let's go ahead and let's get into Airmon. Airmon, let's start our WLAN 0, that should be our wireless card. That should give us if our adapter is there. If our adapter is not showing up here, then our adapter is not connected. So we need to make sure that our adapter is connected to our environment. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and get if config. We want to get our adapter into monitor mode. So we have to bring down the uh, adapter IW config again what adapter are we working with? WLAN 0 mon mode monitor that will put this card into monitor mode then we have to bring back up the card WLAN 0 monitor up that allows us to bring down the card, set it to monitor mode, bring it back up. That way, our wireless card now is in monitor mode. It's kind of important because if your card is not able to go into monitor mode, this next part of the lab will not work. So I'm going to do arrow dump hyphen ng on my interface. If your adapter did not go into monitor mode, you will not get any of this. So what we need to do is we need to find the appropriate access point that we're targeting. There is my access point, so I'm going to go ahead and control Z to terminate it. I'm going to open up a second terminal window. because I want to do some deauthorizations. I want to be able to generate some traffic on that access point copy the BSID or the MAC address of the access point that we're going after and we're going to go arrow dump grab it ng we will do BSID paste the MAC address of the access point that we want to target hyphen lowercase c that's going to be channel here we're targeting channel 11. We want to write a file. We're going to call this crack WPA. And what interface we're capturing it on, which is wireless mon. Oh. So I actually I messed up a little bit got ahead of myself. I want to run it in this window. <laughs> so this will allow us to pinpoint the access point that we're looking at. And you'll notice it captures some data. And it's just looking for that one. You'll also notice it starts generating some cap file, the CSV file, some other items. We actually are interested in seeing how much data we're able to capture. 
and if we've been able to capture a WPA handshake. So again, what I want on the second terminal window is I want to do my deauthorization. So I'm going to airy plane type an ng deauth 10. That means I'm going to send 10 deauth signals to the access point, which should then kick off everyone from it. I'm going to do hyphen A, that's going to be my target. We could actually also specify a client with a hyphen C. So if we knew both the target and the client, we could do that. But in this example, we're just actively looking at the access point. And again, the appropriate interface. So this is where I've had the issues. Notice nothing happened. I did not capture a handshake. It did not say capture handshake. It did not show the appropriate device for connecting to it. So what I'm going to do is I've had this problem before. So what I've had to do in the past was disconnect from the access point that I'm trying to break into and reconnect to it. So this is where this lab gets complicated. If you did this lab already and it fails, meaning you do not get this part right here, and you do not get this part up here. Disconnect your device connected to your access point and reconnect it. What ends up happening if you're trying to do this lab several times in a row, sometimes the access point never really kicks off anything from it. So once you've done that, once you've actually been able to capture the handshake, that's what you want, go ahead and kill it. Once you've done that, what we want to do is we want to clean it up. All right, so we need to clean up the data. So what does that mean by clean up the data? So we have a raw cat file here. It has a bunch of raw data. Well, we want to go and clean that up. So I'm going to copy it to my desktop. Crack, oh, helps if I actually write out the entire command. So I named it crack WPA hyphen 01.cap. You have to tell it where you're copying it to. Yes, I could have just drag and drop it over there as well, but I'll navigate to my desktop. I cannot type today, so I've got right now I can see that item on my desktop. So what we're going to do is we're going to run WPA clean. We are going to have it generate a new file. We're going to call it. We're going to have it called crackfile.cap, and we're going to be pulling that information from crackwpa-01.cap. What that does is it cleans the W or the crack WPA01 file so that all of the information, all of the data that was wrong, all the stuff that we don't need is pulled out of it. We are only left with the hashes that we need. Interesting thing here is we can probably take the new cleaned cap file and open it with Wireshark if we wanted to. Now that we've done this, now we can actually try to change the file type to a hashcat file. So this is where different videos are going to do different things. I'm using a hashcat to try to break the password, 
other people can try to just do it directly off the cap. So this is just kind of dependent on how you want to have it done. In this instruction, we are doing it with Hashcat. So, so let's go ahead and do air crack ng air file dot cap. It did not like my period for whatever reason. Hyphen capital J. Capital J will allow us to convert this to a HC cap file. WPA crack. And so now we have the appropriate HP cap file. Here is all of the information that we are able to pull from it. And we are almost done. The last step is running a word list or a password list against our HC cap file. I already have a word list, so I'm going to run. So let's go ahead and clear the screen and let's go ahead and do our hash cat. Hash cat. Hyphen M. 2500. Give it the location of our HCCAP file, which should be desktop. WPA crack dot HCCAP. Space, where is our word list coming from? We have to save it on the desktop. It's called password list dot TXT. And once you hit enter, it should take a second, but it should give us the password for our wireless. And there it is. So, common issues that I have found is typos. I, I have that finger this a lot. <laughs> so, pay attention to what you're typing first. Second, make sure you're targeting the appropriate MAC address for the appropriate device. Two, make sure you have the appropriate wireless card. Some wireless cards should work, but they do not always go into monitor mode, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, also, again, there are several different ways to do this. You don't have to use Hashcat. You could just use Aircrack, but I, I didn't want to. I wanted to be able to do a Hashcat. So, any questions, let me know. Thank you. Alright, so a common question that I keep getting is, where do I get a password list? Where can I go to get something? Alright, so what I've told most people is Google. And what I want is a Wi-Fi password graphing list. And you should be able to be able to pull up these word dictionaries. The larger the word dictionary, the better. And all I did was download one of these. Uh, notice they say big. What do they mean by big? It, sometimes we're talking. I uh, say that's only 241 megs. That's not big. A lot of the times when we start talking big lists, we're talking like eight. 10 gigs worth of word lists. But yeah, the word lists you can pull up from online without a problem. Anything else? Just let me know.